All right, we're going to answer another viewer question, and the person's question this time is that they want to access their Windows uh, 7 partition from within Linux, and they say they're new, so I want to try to do this with more GUIs as possible, all right? Um, first, you need to open up your software manager. I believe this thing is installed by uh, default, but if not, just go and check it, all right? But you need to search for NTFS and make sure you have this install. Okay, this is called the NTFS uh, 3G and just install that. Um, you know, if it's not installed already. Basically, what this package does is allow you to read and write Windows partition to the Windows partition, I mean, uh, from within Linux. So, install that or make sure it's installed. Next thing you need to do. Is open up your home folder, right? And um, you know, in the side here, these are your partitions or your drives. Like when you put in your USB or whatever, it'll be in the side here, and that's how you would access them, all right? But these are my uh, partitions, and I do have a Windows partition uh, right here. So you click on it, it'll mount it, and you see, you know, this mount shit is on. Um, and then you can access your files from here. You know, you can create like new stuff if you want, uh, like a new folder or whatever, new documents if you want, right? Um, if you can't create anything, or maybe if you uh, don't have, you know, permissions to do it, because right now we're on like um, the normal user level, and sometimes some uh, partition, you know, they not by default they don't allow you to create anything so to do this uh, we'll exit out of this and we just bust out alt F2 and just type in GKSU or GKSU and then type in Nautilus let's see N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S push enter and this one will give you like uh, the root level that's why it requires your password alright just type in your password now and that's it. This this is your root level. Looks a little bit different, but it's almost the same thing, right? And you see that this is uh you know our mounted drives here. So I have three, but I know this is my Windows one. And from here, uh if there's like any permission problems with the the normal user, you know, it's not gonna have any permission problems here. You can do whatever the hell you want. But when you're doing this, be careful what you delete, because you know Sometimes you can't even recover from here if you if you delete it. But you know if you want to copy stuff to your Linux partition, it's basically just drag and drop, you know. If you want to say, "Oh, I want to copy this stupid thing to my desktop." That's basically what you do there. All right. So that's it for that. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, he said he has uh, another problem with um I think uh when he installed it his uh, Linux and Windows partition uh, he couldn't boot into his Windows anymore so what you want to do is try this all right going into your terminal sometimes you have to press control alt T or something like that all right and then you open your terminal type in sudo uh, what was it called update I think he has a problem with his grub. I'm not sure, but sudo update grub. Let's push enter. All right, and type in your password. And basically, this will, <clears throat> I guess, read. Yeah, we'll we'll try to find whatever is installed on your system, and uh, it'll give you that stupid menu, you know, the grub menu where you select different partitions. Um, and you can see that this I have was that Ubuntu 1010 11 10 1104 another this one I got a Windows 7 partition like I said uh mainly for my Windows channel which I haven't done shit for a while but I might get back to that folks for for my uh my followers on Windows <laughs> but yeah this is it right and hopefully that will you know give you that menu back so you can select windows if you want to go back to windows all right but i'm not sure your situation is anyways give that a try hopefully that works out for you that'll be it for this one